Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about a feature called deploy receiver methods on the Citrix storefront server. Okay, let's say there are 300 users in the office environment and out of 300 users, 100 users are trying to connect to the Citrix storefront URL for the first time. They're trying to connect to the Citrix environment for the first time. And if they don't have Citrix receiver software installed on their local machines or their end user device, what happens is they have to download this software from the uh, Citrix website itself. So when they hit the storefront URL, it gives an option to install there. When they click on install, they have to download it from the Citrix website. So imagine there are like 300, 200 users and if every user is trying to download Citrix receiver software, it consumes a lot of bandwidth, okay? It takes a lot of bandwidth and the internet could be become very slow for the other users in the office environment. So in this case, what we can do is, there is an option called uh, deploy receiver. Uh, on the right hand side, if you see manage receiver for websites, click on it. And you see an option called configure, click on it. And you see an option called deploy Citrix receiver, click on it. Here, if you see under allow users to download HDX engine, by default, okay, by default, next to the window shows you have a Citrix website. So what happens is when user enters the Citrix storefront URL and when they don't have Citrix receiver website, I'm sorry, Citrix receiver software on their end user device, they can, they have an option to download it from the Citrix website, okay? So, and also for the users who are running on Mac operating system, they can also download the software from the Citrix website if they don't have it installed on their local machine but it consumes a lot of bandwidth if there are many users in the office and if they're trying to download it consumes a lot of bandwidth so in that case what we can do is as a citrix admin next to windows source instead of uh, selecting citrix website click on local files on the storefront server so what you are trying to do is you are going to download you're going to uh, download the latest version of uh, Citrix receiver or Citrix workspace and you're going to move it to the storefront server itself so that users can download this software from the storefront itself from when they try to connect to the storefront URL they can download it from the storefront server itself instead of going to Citrix website and downloading the software because it consumes a lot of bandwidth and again it's for the same uh, for Mac users as well they can just download from the local files on the storefront server okay so I'm going to select local files on the storefront server and the Windows receiver location is clients, Windows, Citrix workspace app.exe and I'm going to click apply and I'm going to click OK. All right, I'm going to click close. Now I'm going to show the location where this software is saved. So first I'll go to computer and this is the setup file. Okay, this is the setup file. You can just right click on it and when you click open, you have the Citrix receiver and plugins here. Okay. Citrix receiver and plugins you can just copy and you can move them to C drive and uh, yeah create a folder called receiver and move those uh, files here so you have Citrix and Citrix receiver and plugins copied from that setup file just click on it click on it click on it now you have the Citrix workspace app here so this is the exe file so users when they hit the storefront url with, for the very first time if they don't have citrix workspace or citrix receiver installed they they get an option to download it from the citrix storefront server itself they need not you know go to citrix.com to download the software it will eat a lot of resources it will eat a lot of it will takes it will take a lot of bandwidth so they can simply download it from the storefront server itself okay so so this is the feature on the storefront server that we can use. It, it can be used for Windows operating systems and also on uh, Mac OS operating systems as well. Okay, I hope you find this information helpful. I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.